welcome to programming knowledge so in this tutorial we are going to discuss about text widgets so text widget is one of the most used widget and we ourselves have been using it in two or three previous videos okay so today we will dig deeper in text widget and see a few of the functionalities provided by the text widget okay so for that first i will remove this center from the body okay so i'll just simply comment it out and then create another body okay it will be a center the center will have a text okay the center's child parameter will have a text and the, the text says programming knowledge okay now if i save this i'll get a text programming knowledge in the center okay you can see that okay now after this the next thing that we need to know is that we can constrain the number of lines that our text will be displayed okay like I, if i only want to display three lines then i have a property called max lines okay and if you hover around it you can see it takes an integer value so let's say i only want to display three lines okay and now to break the line you can use backslash n okay so what i am going to do is i am going to display programming knowledge four times in four different lines okay so according to the concept of this max lines only three lines should be visible so let's check that okay okay so now i'll first format this and then save this okay so now you can see instead of uh, printing five lines it is only showing three lines so this is how you can constrain the number of lines of your text okay then now i'll bring it back to single line okay just programming knowledge and the next thing that we are going to discuss is style that means how to apply styling to our text widget so there is a named parameter called style and it takes a text style widget okay so i'll write a text style and now it also has some properties so the first property as you can see is background okay so background takes a paint vary paint widget and till now we have not discussed about paint so i'll come back to that later then we have background color and you know we have an enum called colors then i can simply give red now if i save this the background of the text will be in red and you can see that okay similarly we have another property called uh, text color no not the text color just simply color and then i can give colors dot white let's say that okay then again format it and save it so now you can see the text is in white color okay now the next property that we have over here is font weight okay font weight and that means the size so if i give no sorry the font weight means the styling like uh, bold italic and stuff like that so there is another enum called font weight okay and if i write font weight dot bold so now my text will be in bold okay now once i save this so you can see the text has become a bit bold okay now after this you have font size okay and you can give the size of the font of the current text widget okay so i'll give 20 let's say okay so now you can see the text has become a little bit larger okay you can increase the font size a little bit more so that the change is significant and you can observe it Okay, so now you can see that text has become bigger now the next property that we have is font style okay, and it takes font style dot italic okay so suppose if you want to make the text italic and you can see our text has become italic okay so these were the basic about text and there are other properties also like uh, overflow 
text align and there are many other soft wrap struct style text align and these are not important right now because once we know about containers and paddings then these properties will make more sense so once we cover those we will surely come back to this okay so now another type of uh, text that we use and that is used majorly for styling that is called rich text okay so i'll again comment this out i'll have another body okay so first a uh, center center's child will be rich text okay then rich text takes a text okay and the text should takes another widget and that is text span okay now text span takes a parameter called text okay which as the name suggest is a text okay and then one another thing that is style then again we have text style we discussed about it just now okay and then i give a color let's say color start black okay now i need to give another closing bracket over here now i'll format it and save it okay so you can see we have a text over here called programming okay now the basic uh, use of rich text is to provide a different type of styling to different words in a string or in a sentence okay so over here the first word is programming and it is in text color black and if you want you can also change the color you can give it a size let's say 15 okay so this is one word and now if you want to give another styling to the next word then you have another property called children okay and it should also be of type uh, text span so i'll you define it over here then it takes a list okay now as we have defined it to be text span it only takes text spans widget so i'll write text span again inside a text span we have our text okay so text will again take a text okay now we can provide different styling to it okay so for now i'll just simply call copy this paste it over here and change the size to let's say 30 okay now once i save this you will be able to understand what is the difference okay so now you can see we have two different uh, words but a single text okay now if i want i can also change this color okay and i should give a space over here so that it becomes more understandable and now you can see we have programming in this color and which is in a smaller size and knowledge in red color with with a bigger size okay and similarly you can add as many text spans as you want over here so i'll an add another text span the text is let's say flutter okay and this should also have a space or whatever you like then again a style so the style will again be text style color colors dot let's say green okay and then we have font size of let's say 20 okay now i'll format all these okay i need to give a comma over here there is some error okay i missed a closing bracket over here now i'll save this and then you can see another text that is flutter and it is in green color and it has a different size okay so you can see we have three different words but they are inside a single widget that is the rich text widget and they act as a single string okay so it's a real life use is in places like this like where you have a single text but a part of it is over here acts as a redirecting link okay like in our flutter application if i would click on this then i would open an 
another page okay and the rest of the text is just simple text and no changes are there on that okay so in such kind of scenarios rich text come to play okay and now another thing that i also want to cover in this video is like how to create uh, uh, how to separate widgets in different dart files and use it in another dart file okay so for that first of all i'll create a new dart file i'll call it my home underscore app dot dot okay and now inside this my home app dot dot i want this class to be there okay so i'll just copy everything or cut everything and paste it over here then now it is giving errors because i need to import material pack material dot dot okay now i'll save this and over here you can see this my home app is giving an error because this file doesn't know what is my home app okay so now we need to add this my home app dot dot in our main dot dot file okay so for that again i will write import then dot and slash that means to look in the current directory and then over here you can see as the suggestion says my home app dot dot okay so now inside my home app dot dot we had this uh, my home app so now over here the error is gone and now if i save and run this no change will be there but now what we can say is our main dot dot is a bit more cleaner okay so you can see the same thing okay so that was for the video thank you